Alola, this is the Shining Ally, and we are going to continue on our Luigi's Mansion playthrough. We are near ending the game slowly but surely. Before we go upstairs, I wanted to point out that it's time to water some plants. Went ahead and checked this before going upstairs, and sure enough, it is ready to be watered. So we'll go ahead and water this little guy. And get ready for payday. Nice! A golden diamond of sorts. It's awesome. That'll help us in the long run to be able to get to however much. I'm kind of curious what the most expensive jewel in the game is. Alright, so we took care of that. Now, I think it's a good idea to go through and water some plants that are around here. Uh, nothing too crazy. I think I'll just... Haha. <laughs> I'm gonna just water the plants that are upstairs in the balcony, which is on our way upstairs anyway. So now the long walk upstairs. And after all of these rooms though, I think if I definitely, if I were to live in this mansion, I would definitely like to hang out in, I would like to hang out in the rec room, the billiard room, the study hall, study hall, a lot of different rooms here. Um, yeah. I mean, this is a really interesting mansion. Kind of makes you wonder, like, what inspired the creators of this game. What the particular rooms they had in mind here. So, I don't know. But I'm just thinking here. What are your guys' favorite room in the house? Or favorite ghost? Or just favorite part of the game? Go ahead and comment that below. Just because I'd like to hear what other people's thoughts are. You get an emerald. We haven't seen one of those in a while. Very nice. Gold plate. We get a really interesting jewel by watering the plants. Nice. Too much water left. Save that as much as that as we can. Mm -hmm. Another emerald. Nothing in there. Ah, lame. Oh, we got an emerald though. That's nice. Nice, very nice. Some money and some hearts. And then the last bit of plants are right here. Gold plate. Money. Very nice. A little goes a long way, I'd say. Look backwards. Alright, this room still needs to be lit up, I believe. Yeah, well, obviously. It's dark. I could have sworn there was a blue ghost in here, but... Just Mr. Bones. Mr. Bones! Where are you, Mr. Bones? Come on out! Why are you in this room of all places though? That's what I gotta wonder. What's that suggesting? Cell phones lead the death? <laughs> what do we got? Boomerang coming at ya. Dang. He's in there. Let's... We'll be back. Alright, so we got these clockwork ghosts. We 
gotta, yeah, we had to push them in a room of light. A little creepy, but we'll come back to those guys in a second. Ah, son of a gun. Hey, look, Indiana Jones. Boomerang, come back. Oh, do I really want to bother with him right now? It, I have to beat the game, so... Boos are really annoying, but we'll get through it. Come on, little guy. Come over here. You know, I'll deal with Boomerang later. I want to get the money here, and then go on and take on the Clockwork guys. Okay. Okay. Very good. Let us go on. Creepy puppet. Creepy puppet gave us heart, so can't complain. Okay. What do you guys say exactly? Hey, stop looking at me. Squeak, squeak. What do you say? The value. The vow. The vow. So, to activate these guys, we need to turn on all the clocks in the room. All three clocks. And then they will be triggered. A little creepy, though. Oh yeah, you gotta suck up their va their key valves in order to be able to suck them. All right, I think the the purple one is the one that gives the pearls. We'll double check that. Boy. No, no, no! We don't want to do that. It's the blue one. Alright. Well, we might have lost our chance to get the gold by doing that, but that's fine. Let's get rid of you. Thank you, Greeny. Ah, you shot me right in the nose. Big guy. It's you and me. Let's at least get a silver. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, no gold, but that was my fault. I thought it was the purple, not the blue. Do like the hide in these creepy puppets. Boomerang, coming back at you. Yeah, you are. So annoying. Unfortunately, we have to get these boos in order to even just progress in the game. Otherwise, King Boo's just gonna blow us back over and over. Probably the most tedious part is catching some of these boos. And you went in the room I can't get into. I'm so mad I had to water down that ghost. Alright, well, we'll get Boomerang later.
There was no chest in this room, but there is a way up to the second floor. Before that, there's another boo in the room. Um, bum, cold, warmer, hot. Hot? There we go. Time for the six o'clock booze. Oh, news, I get it. I don't feel like chasing them right now. We're going upstairs. We're going upstairs to the roof right now. Once the whole hallway, second floor is clear, or third floor, we'll be able to tackle them. So this is the roof. Not necessary to beat the game, I think. We don't wanna don't wanna go down there. So I think the only thing up here is just the dancing ghosts. Got me. Your little ritual. Missed. Oh, you don't like being lit on fire? I don't think I would either. Very good. Very good. More ghosts. That's why there's the fire. I'm not gonna burn you entirely, I'll just vacuum you up. Health back. Get some fire. Go up and open that chest. I think this is one of those optional paths that we're taking right now. Which I don't mind. Nice. A key. I think this takes me to. No, it doesn't. Alright. So. I think we're going to explore one more room before we end this episode here. One more room. And that room is all the way down here. Very good. We're in a sealed room. That room with the... Oh, yeah, that room from earlier. That was had. I just gotta find the right chest. So I... Nah. No. Ah! Found the wrong chest. I knew he existed. I just couldn't remember which chest. We apparently picked the wrong one. But we got it regardless. I just gotta take on all these guys without taking too much damage. Come on, guys. I don't have time for this shenanigans. Treasure room is lit, and 
on the sealed room. And it just gives us more and more money. No, there is a key in here. I think this is the optional room that leads us to the... Yep. Alright. So we'll go ahead and collect the money here, and we'll go ahead and end this episode. We'll end this episode with a twist. money guys. I think a bulk of the money is obtained like in this half of the game. Alright, so you might be thinking, huh, there's no way out of here. What's going on? How are we supposed to progress through the game? How are we supposed to save with all this extra cash now? And it's good to explore your surroundings though. And there is no boo in this room, that's it's a relief. Getting tired of chasing high level, high HP booze. Alright, that's almost all the. Yeah, we got this one here. Very good. Money. There we go. Very good. Very good. Alright, so we'll go ahead and pull this one away, and it leads to a mirror. I haven't shown you guys this yet, but if you were to scan a mirror anywhere in the house, right back to the mid the front entrance so I said keep an eye on this mirror because this mirror I guess is in a sense is a transport so we'll end the episode right here we have two different options we can go continue on the second floor of uh, third floor and there's a couple second floor rooms that we can look into so I think we'll start with both of those but until then we're gonna end the episode right here thanks for tuning in this is the shining ally stay loyal stay bright and don't forget to share the light